Today we're going to go off to a five-star campsite, the only one we're going to have on our trip. So we've got the caravan packed away, we're just about to hitch off and it's about three and a half hours to four hours there to get there. And you want to see this site because it has some amazing facilities. <laughs> down to our five star campsite. Um, girls is over there getting ready for dinner and again this is one of the things that I love about France the fact that you can park free, toilet facilities fairly clean, plenty of space to park nice and easy and if you've got a caravan motor or anything not a bit of bother getting in any of these spaces and it's just a little bit of a space to chill out and we're gonna have some sandwiches. So at least we've prepared those sandwiches in the caravan um, and we'll be about half an hour so partly the reason is the fact we can't check in until two o'clock and the time is now currently 25 past 12. It is a bit chilly today, it's only hitting 21 degrees so far, but apparently back home uh, it's about 15, 16, so we can't grumble. So it's time for lunch. Bonjour. We've arrived here Camp and Lac de Liez. This is a five star campsite, so we want to stay with us. It is boiling. We left our campsite and it was 19 degrees, and then we've got into 25, 26. But this is one of the big reasons why we've kept this campsite. If you just look at the view from our pitch, because we do have a lakeside view, you can actually see the whole of Lac Liez just above these little chalets here. So it is really hot here, so we're going to go off to the pool and we'll show you a little bit of footage. But then tomorrow we'll take in the pool fully to see the full facilities. We arrived back at the caravan um, and as per usual the awning has become, or the kind of canopy has all became like a laundry section. Uh, but since it's the first day here, we've got a few bits and pieces yesterday at the supermarket. And we're going to have one of my favourite things. I don't know if it's just me, but I absolutely love steak hashes. If that's you, get it whacked down in the comments. Or what is your favourite French food to have? So we're going to have a bit of a barbecue, get stuff sorted, and then we will take you tomorrow to see you in the pool. So Lucy says, do you want a coffee? I said, yeah. And then she says, where's your cup? So went and looked in the cup cupboard and... It's not there. So I thought, where was the cup? And Lucy went, it's not in the microwave, so is it? It is in the microwave. So it's just driven. This has been in the microwave for a good three to four hours of driving. Unfortunately, as far as I can see, it hasn't spilt. Cheers. Nah, I'm not going to drink it. Pool done. Tea done. Coffee watching the lake. Done. So what we're going to do now is have a quick recce round just to see what we can do over the next few days. We're here for seven nights in total, so although the pool's great, we'll have to have other things to do. So there is a big lake here, Camp, Camp in La Clares gives you a clue. So we're going to have a wander down to see what is to be done down there, so we can plan our next few days out. I'm going to take you to see what it's like down at the lake. <laughs> this Lac Liez as I said and it's a big massive well Lac Lake um, I'm assuming the girls will want to go on that although I'm not sure about that slide over there going straight in the water but I'm sure we'll explore and see what it's like but this is beautiful an absolutely gorgeous setting this is one of the reasons we came here because it's got a lake actually I've noticed recently we're starting to have quite a few places that have a lake or near a reservoir water for some reason has that kind of pull for me personally Get off my beach! Oi, you! Get off! Go back to the caravan! 
I'm the boss around here. Now, I know predominantly our viewers like you are people who have caravans, but if you had a camper van or a motorhome, look at the pitch that these two guys have got. They're right on the lake, overlooking it all. And it doesn't say you can't camp here, so I'm assuming it's completely free. I mean, that's some view. I do have a little bit of envy of that one. I bet you'd probably get the caravan down there, but I think it might be a bit frowned upon. Good morning. Last night there was a massive, massive rainstorm. It was absolutely flowing off the side of this canopy, but it's done its job. This morning it's meant to be a beautiful sunshine, but it's a bit cloudy. And somebody, that's me, forgot to order the bread in time. So I'm going to take a trip to go and get some bread for later on. Um, and then it's a day in the pool and we're going to take you with us and we're going to even take you down the slide to see what it's like. This is a really good campsite, it's said five star, three facilities and we'll show you the start of it by looking at the pool. But first, breakfast. So I had breakfast, um, done a bit of editing on the computer now, copying some files across to get the SD cards emptied. I'm going to take you now to the pool and the girls are going to take you down the slide. For tea? Wraps. What kind of wraps? Fajitas. 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 They make me hungry. Fajitas. I haven't got a cork through, so the mighty uh, Philip screwdriver will do the job instead. Just leverage it out. Yeah. So voila! Believe it or not, this is my first glass of wine in France. And you've been here about four or five days. These cups are great though. We'll put a link down below in the description. We'd get we could get a few pennies from from Amazon, but they're really good for keeping your wine cool, which is important in France. Like this sign says. It's been a little bit of time since I've talked to you. The reason for that is the fact we don't want to show you every single thing we do. Not that we mind showing you what we do, but more so the fact that it just becomes a bit repetitive. E.g., we went in the pool. Again, this morning, so we're showing things that are different. So one of the strategies we're taking at the moment, because it's incredibly hot, is go in the pool or something in the morning for a few hours, and then we're coming back having dinner, and after dinner we're having a bit of a chill around the caravan, just to keep the temperature down for the girls, because Pitley Maze is quite fair-skinned. So now, this afternoon, we're going to go off to the lake and do exactly what that's like, and we're also going to book a little secret thing for the girls as well, which I'm sure they will enjoy in the next few days. Let's have a look at the um, pond. Let's have a look at the lake. That's what it's called, lake not pond. We arrived at the beach and as you can see, it's pretty busy already. Lots of children that way and they've obviously got like a school trip of some sort on because there's a good 50, 60 kids on there as well. I reckon we're going to last about five minutes before the kids want to get out because I bet you it's not the hottest in there. If it's a hot day, it's been hot recently, I don't think in there would be that hot but we'll take you as far as we can to explore the area. We got time on our side We're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way Everything here, at least to stay alive, and the time that we share makes so we did last a bit longer, we lasted 10 minutes instead. But the girls got me roped in 
to go to this. The big play area behind. Now I did hope that because they're older they could go on themselves, but Lisa said that's not allowed. So I've got to go in as well. And we're gonna absolute fool myself. And I'm gonna take you in a first person view of going round that if we can. So how to answer a fall? You can. So yesterday it was a turn for the girls to go on the aqua park as part of their little treat. Today is Olivia's treat and she's going to tell you what it's going to be like. How excited are you between 1 and 10 to go on your pony ride? I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over In the bright morning dew We brushed and we braided Dandelions and chew Was a mutual arrangement We both saw in two Can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? Can she make it down again? I have often wondered if she'd go and jump the fence. Today we're off to see a local market. If you're in France and you're near a local town, I would always recommend you go and try and find the local market to get a little bit more in the French way of doing things. So we're going to go to a market called Chandelier. Unfortunately, the Langres one was on the Friday and that was the day we got here and also the day we're leaving. So we're going to go to this local market and see what it's like. I'm going to take you to see exactly what it's like to be in a local market. And like I said, I definitely recommend it. Even that recommend it. Other thing is, don't worry, the site to it is coming. So well done for holding on and you'll get to see this amazing five star site. <laughs> French market here they've got a variety of things actually I thought it was going to be more of a farmer's market but it's not because they've got obviously yeah, food fest produce to buy like potatoes, tomatoes, fruit and stuff like that but they've also got a lot of clothes so I'm sure it's going to cost me big again um, but we're going to have a bit of mixed sport to show you what it's like around here a few uh, fresh food stores like a kind of cooking stores as well so we'll actually we'll like, but like I said you should try and get yourself out into French um, sort of setting so you can get a bit more than just sit in the campsite all the time. It's one of the things we really enjoy and love about fun. Oh, Did you spend all your money? It's a wedding one! Macy got herself a little uh, necklace and she was already in one euro debt so you're now in eight euros of debt. Yeah. She's only the one that doesn't spend that much money but she spends the most at the moment. What do you get Martha? And as for you, Martha's got useful items, haven't you? Nice caravan here that's going to serve the food up for people. What have you got, Olivia? A waffle with chocolate spread on. Delicious. Nice, Martha. <laughs> As we promised you, here is the campsite review for Camp in Lac de Lier. So, this is our pitch, which is a, a lake view pitch, and as you can see, it's absolutely colossal. So, we've got an 8 meter caravan, the space on this side, 
It's got water hookup, waste hookup, everything. Car still fits in there. And there's still absolutely loads of space around the caravan. And the other good thing about the picture that here is I pretty much pull on and then pull off. So you're not having to reverse your caravan all that kind of faff like we did because of having an English caravan. But that's on that side there. The campsite is actually stepped down towards the lake. So you can see that we're on one level. There's another level above us. And if you could probably see above there, there's another level above that. So it is quite hilly up and down towards the lake. So it depends how you feel about that. For us personally, it's not really a problem. Uh, but you can get quite tired legs going up and down the hill all the time. So here we've got the facility block. Like lots of French facility blocks, we have the uh, washing for your dishes is outside. Got the showers here. A quick look. You've also got a wash basin here. Space to put your bits and pieces. Hair dryer on the wall. And also the shower. Firstly, for me, I think I could do a little bit of updating, but the showers generally are pretty clean and well looked after. Coming in, this is the uh, toilet, but obviously it's a little bit open plan, so you've just got there and then you've got the toilet it's unisex you've got um urinal there normal toilet just in here and then you've also got a disabled one now one of the little things that we thought was a little bit of negative is that this toilet on the end here has been out of action all week and never been fixed there could be a reason for that but we would expect a five star site to have all toilets work a little bit more of that beautiful lake view so you have some very big statics down here and now on the bottom level um, then you also have, and I'll show you some more in a second, some little chalets which are dotted around the site as well as you can hire out. Got a small kids play area near where we are, so it's got a couple of swings, uh, little benches there you can go and play on during the day. Not the biggest, but there is one here and there is also one back at the uh, main entrance. So on the far end, away from the reception, the other end there, you've got a um, bouncy castle. You've also got a tennis court. And in the corner there, that's the animation tent for children. I can't really comment on the quality of the animations because there hasn't been any while we've been here because apparently one of the animation team is unwell. Um, so there's not really been any on, which is a bit of a shame considering it costs nearly 60 euros a night. We'll go through the price in a little bit. Right, next part. Up the top of the site here, you've even got some pictures that have their own washroom facilities if you're going to pay the premium from them. Lucy would like that, but I said no. Just behind me, you can basically got some big safari tents. You can also hire them out. Look pretty good size. Be interested to see what look inside. I think I love the outside and look great. And again, they've got a little space you can sit at the front. And they've got some smaller ones, kind of pods with little tents in the front there as well. As well as a few more safari tents back there. Also inside, they've got these kind of cabins that you can hire. Now, me and Lucy looked what it would cost us if we use one in cabins next week, because you can't look for next year yet. It was only £550 for a week. Now, I don't know whether that was because they were always pretty reasonable or because the fact that um, like, like it's a last minute deal. So therefore, that's why they were cheap. But I thought £550, if that was the case normally, it's pretty good going. Just behind me at the entrance of the site, you've got barriers. Again, quite like barriers on campsites with the kids and security. Um, and also, just near the entrance, you've got the waste for the grey, if you've got a motorhome. Only thing I would say, if you've got a big motorhome, you have to be careful, because I've seen people at the bottom out now a couple of times. This is where main reception is. Just jumping down here. Left hand side, main reception. <laughs> now, one of the reasons we chose this site was for this. Look at the view over the lac layers. You've got the massive view that way as the sun starts to come down, and you can also see all the way around. I don't know you can see there, but you can see over here as well. With kids, for us, obviously, the pool the big thing. So you've got an outdoor pool here, you've also got an indoor pool as well, which has like a little jacuzzi section and a sauna. And then you also have, you can see from here, top of the green bit there, you've got a twirly whirly slide, as Martha would call it. And the girls have thoroughly enjoyed this. I'm not sure whether you could, we've stayed for seven nights. I'm not sure whether for some kids they would get a bit bored. Maisie did at times, but we've really enjoyed it at the site. Now, would we come back here? Personally, no. I'll tell you for why. We paid 57 euros a night. Really good site, lots of good facilities. The toilets for me aren't always the cleanest. Other things that haven't been quite right, the fact there's no entertainment, no real apology for that. Um, there was toilet room, it's not the toilets. There's a few little things that for a five star site, and because, I don't know if you know this, but in France, it's not the same. It's like a hotel in England, it's not, inspect the same it's more of a ticky box list so i think if you come here for like a couple of nights three nights great but personally seven nights i probably wouldn't come back at this site personally and as i said it costs us 57 euros per night but there are five of us and now there's a rock gig on apparently 
So we're waiting for like gig rock, what it's called. And uh, we thought we'd get some chips. But look what's inside here, the amount of stuff they gave us. There's about 20 ketchups and about 20 mayonnaises. All, they're going all of these chips. 